you know, without like Blake, fifth year guy, Logan, fifth year guy, um, you know, still without Arvid and Max, like obviously there's, you know, there's, you kind of have to look at situations where there's opportunity. Um, you know, we were talking prior, just potentially, you know, do we play some guys at center that haven't played center before? And, you know, is that going to affect them? And, um, you know, is that fair to them? And, and to be honest, I, I kind of brought up a point where I was like, you know, National Hockey League level, American Hockey League level, whatever it is, it's you'll, you'll literally play anywhere you can, um, you know, to earn an opportunity and earn kind of the next, you know, the next game or the next shift. So we really didn't have an issue with, um, you know, putting together a lineup for that because it, it is about opportunity, it is about getting guys the – you know, the chance maybe to have to go from 12 minutes to 15 minutes to 18 minutes and to see what they can do. And, and um, you know, that was the whole basis behind that. First period was, I think, just kind of just maybe a little bit flat in general. Um, you know, I think at one point when we were watching through, there's seven, eight minutes left in the period and the shots were like four three. So it's not exactly like there was a ton of offense and it was a ton of flow in the game. Um, I mean, what you learn is you just learn, okay, like how can we continuously get better? Like obviously guys that maybe were in, you know, roles that were potentially elevated. Okay. How can we, you know, learn from some of the mistakes we made? Um, like when you're, I mean, although it's an exhibition, you're always looking at how can we systematically get better? How can we, you know, from an individual aspect, get better? Um, you know, nothing really changed in terms of, you know, bringing guys in and showing them shifts after. I mean, that was kind of the same consistency. You know, obviously, you know, Oliver, Oliver Bazic got in the game, so we went about it the same way we'd go about with any other player, go through his shifts, talk about his touches, you know, how, you know, then as we get into practice this week, okay, like, you know, did you learn from that? Did you take the next step? Like, are you understanding what we're trying to do? You know, if you look at Austin, there's, there's obviously a, I would say like an elite level skill set. Um, you know, like he, he, he can make plays in all sorts of ways. He does a lot of like single handed stuff where he chips pucks to himself, obviously his vision, you know, on the power play. And, um, you know, on that, that first goal we scored was, you know, pretty crazy what he did and even you look back to Alaska like third period he hasn't played in a basically you know since since March um and he's in on our two goals so the the biggest thing for him is I, I think he's up to speed he's always going to have that offensive ability he's always going to have that you know that talent level that he has um really it's just kind of getting to him to understand okay like how we play systematically like you have to be um you know if you're F2 in our neutral zone, you have to be in this situation. You have to be able to angle. You have to be able to do, you know, the small detailed things that drive our team that make us ultimately successful at the end of the day to win a championship. So I think that's probably the biggest thing for him is just continuously working on, um, you know, the defensive side of the game for him and getting him to understand, like, this is how we play. Like, there's some things in our, you know, in our program, like, that are non-negotiables. Offense is, that's free. You're, you know, you have the ability to make plays. You have the ability to um, do things with the puck. Defensively is where we have to be sound, and that's, you know, a new player inside of a system. Same thing with our, you know, freshmen that come in. You have to continuously work with them so that they understand that those small details are vital to our success. Um, and then obviously Mosley's a great player and Isaac's a great player. So you're looking at a lot of, you know, complementary pieces. Like Mosley's typically a driver for the puck. Obviously Isaac is, you know, really good around the net, can shoot at. Um, so you, then you have Swank's skill set. You have a really complementary line that can have a ton of success for us. Like obviously if you look at three on three, there's necessarily no point in keeping the puck in the zone when everyone's gapped up. And as you bring the puck out into the neutral zone, what typically happens is kind of what you're saying is, but guys are able to kind of come out and pick up speed. Whereas like if the defenders aren't coming up and they're not gapping, you can fly by. I mean, you look at, um, you know, the goal even like Logan scored, right? Like, like the night before, it's just coming in with speed and like coming in on a forward getting into a position where he can shoot and obviously a great shot. So, they, I mean, you've seen it in the NHL, right? Like if they don't have anything, they don't necessarily just like release the puck down. They skate out of the zone, let guys kind of come back, just like a power play break would be on a counter, come back in a neutral zone, get speed. And if the, th the, the defenders aren't gapping, then you should be able to just kind of fly into the zone. And 
um, if you've seen what our chances are offensively in, in overtimes and like how we've scored, a lot of times it's off of that. We run some kind of a pick under, you know, under speed and get an opportunity. So we do look for that, yes. Uh, so Max is actually going to be here. Well, he'll be in Minneapolis on Wednesday night. So our expectation is that we will have him, um, you know, granted flight delays, weather, whatever happens, but that's our expectation. Y you know, y you look at a c couple of the, um, you know, potential overtime losses we had, Bowling Green, Ferris, stuff like that. We had a relatively good start, um, but there was times, like we, the last time we played Bemidji, obviously gave up a you know, four-goal lead and kind of choked that one away. Uh, St. Thomas is a good team, but it's, it's kind of what you strive for. You strive in the second half to be up in the top of your standings, and when you play those teams, you want to have opportunities to you know, end weekends being in first place. Ultimately, that's why you're, you, know, you want to be in position to do that. Now, we've done that. We've allowed ourselves to be in that position. Um, obviously, these four games are huge. You want to take advantage of being able to get 12 points um, and then, you know, try to get through that and run away with it. Um, you know, I mean, that's, that's really the goal. But like I said, it's, it's all the preset of how you put yourself in that situation to, to have the opportunity. It's a lot easier to be close to these teams and, like, you know, be able to win those games and be in first place than be constantly chasing. So we're right there. It's just... You know, there's a lot of work to do, but, um, you know, we're looking forward to it.